Hi, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see how is it that you come across to people. Okay, so what are their first impressions of you? What do they first notice about you when they meet you? What kind of energy do you give up? Um, this is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you are a, after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. So how is it that you come across to people? What's their first impression of you? Your presence is definitely felt and I can tell that you're definitely noticed and not only for your good looks, not only for your um, attractiveness, but I just feel like it's that aura or that energy or just the way that you carry yourself. I'm picking up that that's definitely something that doesn't go unnoticed here. You give off a very confident energy, someone who's very self-assured, someone who's very um, confident within themselves. Um, you come across as someone in a power position. So you've got this air of authority around you. Uh, also, you give off like a masculine energy. So um, even if you're female, it's just the energy that um, is the energy that sort of translates when people first meet you or when people... Um, are in a room with you also you you seem someone very okay you seem someone who's very driven someone who's very focused someone who's a little bit serious whilst you do have a playful side and that does come out it's almost like you've got these um i guess different sides you've got this when people first meet you you have this kind of you give off this air or this energy of authority okay um very in control very confident even if you don't feel like you are confident you come across as someone who's very confident within themselves you present very well you there's this air of professionalism you're someone who you can tell right away just by looking at you you're someone who has standards and you're not about to lower their standards for anyone um there's a lot of structure or discipline to your energy um Also with the Empress energy, the way that I see it is there is this a little bit of, it's a bit of a cold energy, okay, because the Emperor isn't someone who's mushy-mushy or lovey-dovey. He's got, you know, he's very, he's very in control of his emotions. He doesn't easily, dis, you know, have his emotions on display. So you do come across as someone who's not, it's not that you're insensitive, it's just that you're not someone who is overly emotional. Um... Someone who doesn't easily express their feelings or likes to keep, you know, their feelings separate. You you also seem quite competitive. You do. Um, you seem very competitive. You seem like you you are or you would be like a good judge of character. Someone who... You read people very well and I think because of that ability to do so you're able to respond accordingly so if you see someone is a little bit shy or a little bit closed off you try and not come across too intense not that you do but you you know you read the room you read the room you read people very well and you respond accordingly this is why I feel like people flock to you or they gravitate to you or they respond very positively to you you are someone who I feel like people look up to you are someone that is you've got this strong 
you've got this strong personality, you've got this strong, you've got, it's just the way that you carry yourself, this, this aura, this energy, um, people notice that, it's like you're very self-confident, you're very self-assured, um, and people like that, people like people that are, you know, confident within themselves, they can back themselves, so I can see that people, you know, um, awaken to you, you've also got this energy where you're very attractive, but almost like, okay, well, this person is like too good looking, or, you know, this person is, it's like Mr. or Mrs. Popular kind of energy, um, so there is something about you that does seem a little bit intimidating in a way, um, When you talk, you're very articulate. You are, of course, governed by mental energy. So when you talk, you're like this natural wordsmith, okay? And again, you know, depending on who you're talking to, you are then, you gauge the person that you're interacting with verbally and non-verbally. And then you sort of, you, you're you able to dictate and carry the conversation, okay? Um and, you know, depending on the situation you're in, the person that you're speaking to, I feel like you res uh, you read the room as we spoke about it and, you you know, you're able to read energies and you can just respond accordingly. You're a go-getter. You're, you're someone who, like, you're someone who's not to be messed with. And people, I feel like even close connecting energies know not to cross you, okay, because you're someone who is... Like you stand up for yourself, you stand up for what you believe in and you stand up for people that um, you love, for people that you care about. You also have this sweet side to you, that sweet sensitive side to you that you don't easily put on display or you you know, you know don't easily show to everyone, just to the few lucky ones. Um, you do have this side that is very, like underneath it all you do seek, it's like the spiritual side and you seek a deeper meaning to to everything that you do and everything that you believe in. Um, you're someone who, you're an innovator, you're a trendsetter, okay? That's how you come across. You're full of ideas, you're full of bright ideas, you're full of ways of doing things. You've got your own style, you've got your own unique sense, you've got your own, it's you, your own, you know, stamp to you, your own um, brand, if you will. And you're more than happy to abandon the mainstream way of doing something in order to follow, you know, follow yours or in order to set a new trend. So you're definitely someone, you know, people look up to. Again, it probably comes very natural to you because you have this and you might not even know it. Like you might not even be aware of the energy you give off, but you've got this energy where people can't help but look. Okay, people can't help but notice you. People can't help but be attracted to you, be drawn by you, gravitate towards you, flock to you. They can't help it. There's just something about you here um, that they're very intrigued by. People that know you, know you to be someone very... You're very caring, you're very sweet, you're very practical, you're very knowledgeable. You can be a bit of a know-it-all, you do come across that way. You're someone who isn't afraid to stand up for themselves and stand up for the people you believe in. And you're someone who's not afraid to walk away from a situation, okay? You have a, very, you have a lot of strength, you have a lot of resilience. I'm seeing mental resilience, emotional resilience. Um, you're not afraid... You're, you're actually, you're, you're fearless is what you are. You're not afraid to, if something is no longer working, you're not afraid to say, you know what, this is not long working, let me try a new way. You're not afraid to, again, abandon the herd and do things your way and people love and admire that about you. You do come across as someone who is, you like to stick to what you know. You, you come across that way. Like, for instance, you might have been using the same brand of, like, once you find something that is you, that expresses who you are and expresses your values, okay, and, um, you know, your likes and your passions, your interests, you stick with it. Like, for example, you might be, and you be, you're very loyal, you're fiercely loyal, and people see that about you, people notice that about you, and people love that about you. Um, you're very committed. 
you're you're very traditional type of partner and it, it seems as though you seek a very traditional type of partner and you seek a very safe traditional type of a relationship you have you have a great set of values ethics morals um you're someone again you're not about to lower your standards um for anyone you're not about to throw you you like the rules you're not you're not much of a rule breaker unless you feel like you need to but it feels like you know you like to stick to what works you might be using the same brand of shampoo or you might have been the you know but you might have been buying the same brand of something for years now because you trust that it works for you this is something you know you're very loyal to whatever it is that you decide to commit yourself to you've got this great energy about you as well where you're very playful so although you have the serious side you also have this very playful energetic very youthful nature to you this energy where it's very infectious people can pick it up and they love that they love the vibe they love the energy you give off um it also translates to being reckless sometimes sometimes you can be very impulsive very reckless you know um you're a little indecisive i feel like you t you like to take your time because you like to be sure um you're someone who likes to weigh up the pros and cons um but you're the life of the party you're definitely someone who's the life of the party you definitely got this energy about you where you light up a room and you know you're you know you bring the life to the party you bring the energy into a room um you've got a lot of mindfulness as well there's a lot of mindfulness about you People perceive you to be very bright, very social, very sociable, someone who makes friends very easily, someone who's very popular, um, someone who's very intellectual. Um, you're someone who can hold a conversation with anyone. Um, you're also someone who's great at keeping secrets. I'm getting master of communication in all forms, written spoken and even understanding you're adventurous you are you're someone who is adventurous um someone who likes to experience you love learning and as a result i feel like you're someone who just absorbs as much information as they can very intellectual you're very skilled at communicating but persuading people and people know this about you and I feel like especially those that are connecting energies to you, they know that if you want them, if you want to persuade them to buy a certain product or to do a certain thing, you, you're very persuasive. And they know that, oh, you know, they're in, they're out of a lot of luck there. You're someone who, you keep things light. You're a shining light. You keep things very light. You keep things bubbly. You're someone who's just... There's a lot of precision as well in your energy. You're very, you can be very particular. You can be very meticulous. You can be very precise about what it is that you like. Now, with the three of cups, it's it's come up in reverse. Um. You know, you do have. You you can be a little bit kind of gossipy or scandalous, but I just feel like maybe that's because you know you you love communicating, you love talking. You just I don't think you mean you know you mean well, but I just it, it, it's coming across as you know you're very chatty and sometimes you can love your or you can be very scandalous in some of the things that you say. Like you don't hold back. You just you know, you and maybe you know people. Some people translate that as very blunt, but you see that as being you. You see that as being truthful, right? Um, perception is everything. So you do come across as a very loving friend, um, a very loving family member, a very um, someone who's 
someone who's just very easy to get along with. Honestly, someone who's just very easy, very chill to get on with. Someone who... Someone who's the life of the party. You are. You're very bright, bubbly, you're very sociable. But at the same time, every now and again, and again, you do like your quiet time. You do like a little bit of solitude. You like to inject, you know, a little bit of solitude here and there to just sort of recharge your batteries. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye.